Meanwhile, a man accused of going on a shooting spree, firing a gun at random people, killing one of them just faced a judge for the very first time. 22 year old Jaime Gonzalez was arrested Friday night a couple of hours after the gunfire started. He faces a long list of charges, including first degree murder. CBS 8's Kelly Hesselhoff joins us now live from the downtown courthouse with what happened today in court. Kelly. Well, that's right. Jaime Gonzalez appeared in the courtroom via video monitor. Now, the judge ordered us not to show his face in court, uh, citing potential identity issues. Here's a look inside the courtroom. You enter not guilty pleas, denials to all allegations, and request appointment of the primary public defender's office. So Gonzalez uh, pleaded not guilty to seven felony charges, including six charges of attempted murder with premeditation and gun use allegations, and one first degree murder charge with a gun use allegation. He was also charged with carrying a gun that's not registered to him. According to investigators, uh, the shooting spree began Friday night around 8 p.m. in Spring Valley, then it moved to Encanto, then Bay Terraces. And in the end, a 32 year old man was killed, another man was shot, and two juveniles were shot as well. Investigators say there were a handful of other people he shot at but did not hit. Now, the 5'6", 115-pound defendant was arrested about two hours after the shooting spree started. A police stopped a car matching a witness's description, and they say Gonzalez was driving it. Inside the vehicle, they found a 9-millimeter semi-automatic handgun uh, that police say appeared to be a so-called ghost gun. Uh, so this is a complex case, at least three different scenes with a lot of victims involved. Here's what Deputy District Attorney Melissa Mack told us. Gun violence is something that unfortunately we're seeing and um, more often than not these days and gun violence is tragic. Multiple people are going to, you know, have forever scars in this case. Mm -hmm. And according to the deputy DA, all of the uh, victims who were wounded are expected to survive. Uh, meanwhile, I will say there was a bit of, of a delay with this hearing. Uh, at one point, the public defender told the judge uh, the defendant has a hard time hearing you uh, and he's not wearing a hearing device. There were some technical issues, so they had to shut down the entire hearing because the judge was like, you know, this is a pretty significant part of this case. They shut everything down, uh, took a short break. Everything then came back on and continued. Now, uh, Gonzalez is... Uh, being held without bail. He faces several life sentences if convicted. Carlo and Steve. And Kelly, you showed us there were multiple scenes here, a lot going on. Do we have any idea about a motive in the case? Yeah, and that was a question I asked today, uh, but it's still unclear. All police will say is that there is no connection between Gonzalez and any of these victims, that this appears to be uh, completely random. Uh, they did say that it, it appeared that he would just drive down the street, see a group of people, get out, start shooting at them, get back in the car, and just drive off. A very disturbing series of events. Kelly Hestall reporting live from the downtown courthouse. Thanks, Kelly.